you heard of cardboard or paper boomerangs? I'm sure you have. They say, take a piece of cardboard and cut out a boomerang shape, which I've done, and then hold it on your fingers and give it a flick and it'll come back to you. Well, it may or it may not. That one didn't. It just spun and went to the ground. There are ways of making it come back to you, and here's what they are. First of all, pick the right sort of cardboard. This is manila folder. It's the sort of folder that they use to uh, keep papers in in a file. And often you can get old ones that people don't want anymore. It's good, thin, but crisp cardboard. It's ideal. How big and what shape? Well, go for the right-angled corner of the folder. That gives you a very good guide. And take two fingers and put them across like that to make a triangle and cut behind the fingers. You see, what you get is a broad arrowhead. And try and keep the sides of the arrowhead the same length. They're not bad there. This one's a bit too long. I'll trim it off. Don't make it too small, but even if you make the back irregular, it won't really matter as long as those sides are the same length. Then go for the middle, and driving down to the point of the arrowhead, make a split about there. Leave a good distance between the split end and the point. Then take the corners of the triangle and cut them in to join the end of the split. Make sure that the whole thing remains as symmetrical as you can get it, because that will help the flight. There we are. That's the basic boomerang shape. But it wouldn't work like that. There are two things you have to do to it. One, you have to take off the sharp corners. For some reason, they seem to interrupt the flight. They're not awfully good, so round them off the way a real boomerang is. The second is to give it the sort of twist that a, a real boomerang has. Now, real boomerangs carved from wood can be carved into a sort of interesting propeller shape that they have. But here we have to fake it a bit, and this is the best way, I think, of doing it. Put it down on the edge of a table so it's pointing in like an arrowhead. Take the right-hand edge, push it over the table side, and bend it down quite sharply. Give it a good kink, just that right-hand side. Don't leave it like that. Pick it up and turn it over so that when it rests on the two first fingers of your left hand, the left hand end is kicked up into the air. Then all you have to do is to flick the right hand edge while you're pointing it up into the air a fair bit and it should circle around and come back to you. If I'm right, it'll go around there and come back on my lap. Let's see how good we are. This is the technique. Use the middle finger of the other hand and flick it very smartly behind the unbent leg. Well, here goes. Hmm, not bad. Nearly back to the tabletop. Let's try another one built on the same design. Point it up. Good flick. Back at least onto the tabletop. They all curl around that way and come back. Now that flap really does make a difference. You see, on this one, I've bent it down instead of up. I think you'll see it doesn't even try to come back. It just flies off and bombs out. So the flap really makes a difference, and pointing it into the air makes a difference, and flicking it hard makes a difference. Like that back onto the tabletop. Lots of things to experiment with there. The cardboard size, the uh, boomerang size, the way you bend the flap. And in fact, even the shape of the boomerang. You don't often hear of square boomerangs, but when you think of a, a cross, really, you can imagine that that's really two boomerangs joined point to point. So let's treat each of those legs the same. Let's poke it over the edge of the table, just like the boomerang we had before, and bend that leg down, and that leg down, and that leg down, and that leg down, and once again, turn it over and give it a flick. That's a most unusual shape, but if I'm right, that ought to boomerang back to me and land somewhere near my lap or the tabletop. And here goes again. Terrific, right back in my lap. Lots of things for you to try with. I wonder if you can make a six-legged boomerang that comes back to your lap.